The weather always plays a role in what kind of season we feel we have with flu and RSV and all of that too. Um, well, I think the, the weather part of it is it drives people inside. So yeah. when you have a lot of people inside together, it's easier to transmit viruses. Mm -hmm. I think right. that's what we all mm -hmm. learned. I will never forget that ping pong ball uh, public information commercial that went out at the beginning of the pandemic where it was all the mouse traps on the floor and they threw the ping pong ball and all the mouse traps went off because mm. wow. they were really close together. Right. Yeah. And then they spaced all the mouse traps out put the ping pong ball through and it just went through and didn't get anything. So I was like, oh, okay. She said ping pong ball. I thought you were gonna mention beer, but that's another story. I'm <laughs> totally disconnected <laughs> from. You know what Christy Paul's doing at 6.31 wow, tonight. Wow, really not. Right. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that, I'm trying to recover from that. That's, oh, that's please. a good one. Are you kidding? You've got great zingers. Uh, every now and again, yeah. Well, we've uh, got a little bit of a drippy, droppy forecast here for the next few hours. There are these scattered showers, areas of mist and drizzle, and cloudy skies otherwise. We have that damp feeling going on here in Northeast Ohio. It's the lake yet again. Lake Erie is our friend and our foe. In the summertime, we love it so much. It's so beautiful. It's why people come to Cleveland in the wintertime. It's not the best of things, but every now and then we appreciate it. Uh, but certainly these scattered rain showers, and again, it's mist and drizzle in some locations at best. This is going to persist as we head through the night. Now, let's take a look at the month to date, because if you will all remember one month ago, September, we had one of our driest Septembers on record. It was a top 10. I think it was seventh driest September on record. We only picked up 77 hundredths of an inch of rain the entire month. This month, we are already seven-tenths of an inch above average here in Cleveland. A little drier farther to the south, but today we did pick up uh, some light amounts, a couple hundredths of an inch, but it all kind of gets added together. And when it starts to get added together, we end up feeling like it's a lot more than it actually was. We will get a break in the rain action. This is some good news. Tomorrow there's some lingering showers, kind of like today, but Wednesday we're looking dry and then the rain comes back at us. And that rain that's coming back at us Thursday and then into the weekend is a series of storm system that's lined up way out here in the northwestern part of the country. The rain we are getting today is on the backside of an area of low pressure that's sitting in New England, and it's just forcing this northerly breeze across the lake. It's cool air coming across the warmer waters of the lake, and we end up with the lake effect clouds and the scattered showers. This is going to be a stirring mechanism for us. We are cloud free in the Plain State, so we're going to tap into some of that drier air. It also just so happens to be warmer air that is sitting here in the Plain States. We have to wait a day for it, so we're going with transition Tuesday, and then Wednesday we finally get a break before our next series of storm systems begins to sweep in as we head through Thursday night and then Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So it's just ugh, one of those things. We're going to focus on the positive. National Design by Hour by Hour forecast does keep the light mist and drizzly showers ongoing as we head through the midnight hour. Early morning temperatures will be in the 40s. Inland will still be in the 50s right along the lake shore. By 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, we're still dealing with these scattered light showers, areas of mist and drizzle. Once we get into the afternoon, though, the winds of change begin. We should pick up more of a west to southwest wind. That will help to drive that low pressure out. It will help to give us a little more sunshine than showers, and that will help to bring in that much warmer air that is coming in for Wednesday in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Mid-60s hang on again for Thursday. Late day, the rain moves in again, and then there comes the series of storm systems as we head through the weekend, locking us in with some scattered rain chances, but just scattered.